Hello, Ethan Vessels, lawyer in Marietta, Ohio. Today we're talking more about oil and gas litigation. And the question today is, is your property held by an existing lease? Uh, many landowners are trying to get in on the oil and gas boom, and the ideal landowner is one that has no lease already burdening their property. But you may be a landowner that already has a gas lease from 10, 20, even 100 years ago on your property. And the question is, is that lease still in force? Because if it is, you cannot go out and re-lease the property to one of the deep producers. So we need to talk about something first called the habendum clause. That's the Latin phrase for the have and hold clause. Uh, most leases, in fact almost all leases, have something called a primary term and a secondary term. This defines how long your lease will last. The primary term lasts for a set period of time, usually six months, a year, two years, sometimes as much as five years. What will happen is you will sign a lease with the producer and you will say that this lease will go on for two, three, five years and then after that the lease will continue on indefinitely. That's what's called the secondary term. But it cannot go on indefinitely unless a condition is met and most secondary terms have something to the effect of this lease will last so long as oil or gas is produced in paying quantities or words to that effect. It cannot go indefinitely but it can go indefinitely so long as oil or gas is being produced and that is a cause for much litigation here in southeast Ohio. So what do you do if you have a gas lease that's burdening your property and you believe that the person, the lessee or business that holds your lease is not really producing. Well, there's a couple of things that you can do. The first is you can try what's called a statutory forfeiture process. And the statutes of Ohio uh, have a process in which you send a certified letter to the lessee, usually the producer, that says, I'm going to forfeit this lease. And then you have to wait a certain amount of time, and then that lessee, the producer, can file an affidavit with the county recorder's office to say, no, we are producing this lease, it's still in effect. If nothing is filed after a certain amount of time, you can file your affidavit of forfeiture. And then after a certain amount of time, I won't go into the specifics here, if there is no counter affidavit filed, your lease will be free and clear and you can go ahead and, uh, I should say your property is free and clear, and then you can go ahead and release the property to another producer. However, if the producer or the lessee files the counter affidavit stating that they are in fact producing the land, uh, oil or gas from the land, you really have no option but to file a lawsuit. And what you will do is file a lawsuit in the county in which your property is located, telling the court that you believe that the gas lease that was once signed and burdens your property is no longer producing and you're going to ask the court to declare it void. The other side can file an answer and then you're off to the races and you'll go to the court and each side will present their evidence eventually at a trial as to whether or not there is gas or oil being produced in paying quantities from your lease. We are doing a lot of this type of work here at Fields Demlo and Vessels. If you need help involving an oil or gas lease here in southeast Ohio, Please don't hesitate to give us a call at 740-374-5346 or visit our website at www.fieldsdemlo.com. Thank you.